So let's just say you bought a new Samsung drive for your desktop or your laptop, and you want to transfer your existing Windows installation along with your drivers, games, applications, and files. Well, that's what we're going to look at today. The purpose of this video is to provide a quick and clear guide to actually clone your SSD from your laptop or PC to your new Samsung SSD without having to do a fresh install of Windows and all that entails. And the great news is the cloning software is free and direct from Samsung and it's incredibly easy to use. So to get started, there's gonna be a few things that we're gonna need. Firstly, you're gonna need your Samsung SSD. Now I'm assuming you've probably already bought this, this is why you're on this video guide, but if you haven't, I will put a few links down in the description below for some popular Samsung drives for your laptops or PC. Also the Samsung cloning software, again, the descriptions will be in the links down below. You're gonna need a decent toolkit. I always use the iFixit Electronics Essential Toolkit. This has got all the bits that I need for my general day-to-day -day use for maintaining laptops and electronic equipment, and it's not even that expensive. Never cheap out on a decent driver set. And lastly, I use a USB-C Caddy, and this is a Sabrent toolless version. Now you don't necessarily need to do that, especially if you've got more than one SSD bays. You can clone directly from one bay to another, but I'm quite lazy. By cloning directly to this USB-C drive plugged into my laptop, it means I only need to open my laptop once. So I always go for the easiest route. And once you've got all your equipment, the first thing we're gonna to need to do is actually install the SSD into our caddy if you're gonna go for the caddy route. Now, the good thing about this Sabrent, as I said, it's toolless, so this is so easy to do. You just pop your SSD into your caddy, flick the lever. That's now secure in our caddy. You notice there's a heat sink at the top. We pop that closed, that's ready to go. It's just a case then of plugging in your USB cable and then into your either your PC or your laptop. Next, we install and run our Samsung software. And the good news with this cloning software is it's incredibly easy to use. It automatically selects your source drive, which is the OS drive on your PC or laptop. All you need to do is choose the actual Samsung drive that we've got in our caddy. That's very obvious that the Samsung that you've actually got in here. From there, you just click start and it instantly copies all of the drives and files from your OS drive direct to your new drive. And don't worry if your new drive is bigger than your older drive, it actually then extends the partition so you have all the free space available. And once that's finished, it will automatically ask you to shut down your PC. So click yes to that, shut down the PC, unplug it, and we're then gonna swap the drives. Now I'm using my Razer Blade 16 to actually install this SSD to actually make this guide. This laptop is incredibly easy to get into. It's just a few T5 screws on the base panel. Once you've unscrewed those T5 screws, I pop the cover off, I unplug my laptop's battery because you don't want to cause any shorts, and from there, I just unscrew the existing SSD, slide it out, I'm gonna pop in my new Samsung and screw it down and put the heat plate back on. From there, I plug my battery back into place and I screw the base cover back on, I power back into Windows, and it is exactly where you left it. There's no configuration that needs to be done, it will be exactly where it was when you powered it down before you did the swap. And that is the best thing about doing a clone. Now, hopefully you find this guide incredibly easy, but if you do have any questions, pop it in the comment section down below and I will get back to you. And as always, thanks for watching.